Uh, talking about outsiders coming in, but people who are a fan of the business. I don't know if you saw today, Shaquille O'Neal made a challenge to Cody Rhodes yes, and said he wants to wrestle him in, in AEW. Yes. What do you think about Shaq? Because Shaq, he did the, the Battle Royal uh, at WrestleMania a couple years ago in Dallas. I know he did a lot of stuff down there with you all in WCW back in the day. Um, do you think that Shaq at this stage of his life should should go into a wrestling match with Cody Rhodes in AEW? It's a good idea, um, actually, you know, because Cody Rose, what, um, you know, 200 pounds, you know, so can win. Yeah, yeah most, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, he's a little, maybe 220, 220 230, maybe 230. Um, Shaq, you know, three, three, that's a good matchup. You know, I, I bet on Shaq in a fight like that. Plus, you know, for Shaq to mention AEW, yeah, it's big. It's big for those guys. That's a big shout out um, coming from someone like Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal got a huge fan base. People love him. Um, he's been, you know, part of the WWE family uh, many, many times uh, for many, many years. And for for them, you know, to get a a rub, you know, from someone like Shaquille, just like Mike Tyson, you know, hey man, it's it's good for business. It's good for business. Um, what they what they get out of that is is most important. You know how they how they manage it and how they keep you know what they get. You know, just like say for instance. You know the Mike Tyson um, coming in. What did they really gain out of Mike Tyson um, coming in? You know what? What? What did they really gain out of all the UFC guys that came in? What? What? You? You tell me. I mean, other than the exposure and being on ESPN the next day or Sports Center, I think that that was probably the biggest thing. There hasn't been any match for payoff. I thought we were gonna. I really did think we were gonna see Jericho and Tyson. I thought that we were gonna see that match. Um, it hasn't happened yet. Doesn't mean it's not going to, but Mike Tyson being on your television is never a bad thing. No, that's exactly what I'm talking about though. But what I'm, what I'm saying is when you got a moment that you perhaps may never get back, even though, you know, they may have the, the, um, expense account to actually be able to do that. But, uh, when you got a moment like that, you want to try to utilize it to the best of your ability and, and, and really, um, streamlining and make, try to get something out of that. You know, uh, the world is talking about it that whole, the whole week before. Man, what's going down? Man, what the hell is going down? And then what 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 go down in people's mind may be totally different than what you give them, but the, the expectations were to actually, you know, motivate them to watch it. And, and, and really, you know, I haven't seen that with any of these guys that came in. But, um, there again, AEW is moving up the ladder. Um, they, they're um, the, the viewers say I seem to be, you know, tr um, ticking upward a little bit. And um, I think I don't know what that, that I think they did a show just like Saturday night. They did because the NBA playoffs are on TNT, so they kind of get moved around in the schedule a little bit.